Olá, tudo bem? I'm Emma from Portuguese Language Lessons. Here's a short video to talk you through participios regulares and this tense called the pretérito mais que perfeito composto do indicativo, which I'll talk about and explain a bit more. Here we go. Participles. We can make participles from verbs in Portuguese by putting a new ending on the verb. Okay, there's two different ways to do this. One, the big group of verbs ending in AR, we take off the AR and switch for ADU. So we end up with things like falado, jogado, parado, pensado. Or we've got words, verbs that originally end in ER or IR, and these ones will switch the ending to IDU. Comido, bebido, partido, divertido, even IDU from the verb IR, that is totally correct. Okay, so. These are um, the participles. That, there's also a few irregular ones, but we'll talk about these later. Okay. These can be a bit confusing for language learners because when the English form ends in ed, so we're talking about things like played, enjoyed, etc. In English, that's the same as the past tense, the PPI. But remember, the PPI in Portuguese would be, for these verbs, joguei, jogar, jogou, jogamos, jogaram, divertiu, divertis, divertiu, etc. Which is very different. Okay, So al although we've got sometimes the same in English, we have to think, is it a past tense verb or is it a participle? Okay. So that's um, one common point of confusion. Now, Participles, they're not verb tenses, they are used to make verb tenses and sometimes adjectives. So they are not conjugated, we do not change them for I, you, he, she, they, but they can sometimes change their endings to U, to A, to Ush, to Aj. Okay, now, this long tense, the preteritum mais que perfeito um, do, ai, I've forgotten now. O pretérito mais que perfeito composto do indicativo is the name for the tense that in English would, we would say had spoken, had eaten, etc. We call it the plus perfect or the pluperfect. And we use this when we're telling stories and talking about what happened in the past when something happened previous to something else. Example, he had eaten a big lunch so he wasn't hungry. El tinha comido um almoço grande, então não estava com fome. Now, this is a super simple tense to make, really easy. Um, here, we use the verb ter in the imperfeito. So, tinha, tinhas, tinha, tinhamos, tinham. And then add in the past participle, something like estudado, comido, partido, um, whichever the main action is in the participle. We don't need to change the endings of the participles ever. Now, it's often found in sentences with the PPI, the past tense, and the imperfeito. A clue for whether we're dealing with the preteritu mais que perfeito um, composto is the word já already. So, já tínhamos preparado o almoço, por isso podíamos descansar. We had already prepared lunch, and for this reason we could rest. Vieram mais cedo do que tinham combinado. They came earlier than they had arranged, is another example. Okay. okay, so that's it. I hope that's been helpful for you. Ciao, ciao.